guys, this is Surya from Skilling. In the last video, I was speaking about how to become a CAA engineer, right? I explained to you about the pathways, if you are a fresher and if you are someone who has experience, what are the different pathways that you can basically take in order to become a CAA engineer. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can become a CAA engineer in the next six to eight months. One of the aspects we at Skilling do is we understand what the industry needs and develop a coursework very similar to industry demands, right? And one of our coursework that has reaped in a lot of success for our students is our CA Engineers Master's program. This is an eight month long coursework. And in this coursework, you look at six modules. Today, I'm going to explain to you how those six modules are structured and why those six modules will help you get a really good CA engineering job, right? And if you're a fresher, it will help you get a good CA engineering job. If you're someone who is experienced and looking for a switch as an analyst, this might be the right coursework as well. Let's get into it. I'll explain more in detail. As I said, there are six courses. The first course is Hypermesh for FEA Plastics and Sheet Metal. The second course is Structural Meshing using ANSA. If you had seen my previous video, I would have explained to you how for you to become a CAE modeler, the tools that you need to understand is Hypermesh and ANSA. As a pre-processing engineer or a CAE modeler, these are two fundamental tools and techniques that you need to know. And what I would have also mentioned in that video is the projects that you need to have in order to gain that experience. And that's exactly what you will be doing here. So some of the projects, so there is around 15 plus projects in the whole CAE master's course. I've only put a few of them, right? The three projects that I wanted to highlight in the Hypermesh coursework is the plastics part of the project where you basically mesh us. The plastic components that you see in the car's inner door is what you will start meshing, right? So plastic side door, internal component meshing. That's your first project. The second project is your rear door extra wheel holder. The wheel that is extra is mounted on a sheet metal in most SUVs, right? Meshing that component gives you an understanding of how to mesh sheet metal components, right? So that is what the second project is. The third project is very complex and has exhaustive concepts inbuilt into it, which is basically your full seat model where you learn about meshing and also about the connections aspect of it. If you take a look at my previous video, I would have spoken about meshing and connections. Here you get to understand both meshing and connections aspect of it. Right? The second coursework is structural uh, meshing using ANSA. So here again, the plastic component that you will be looking at is the instrument panel. What is an instrument panel? Well, the panel that you see when you sit in the driver's uh, seat or in the uh, seat next to the drivers, the plastic components in the whole dashboard is basically your uh, instrument panel. Right? Then you look at the suspension. You go and mesh the whole suspension of your car. Right. And here, what all you understand is, you understand how to mesh 3D components, you understand how to mesh 2D components, and you understand connections aspect of it in the ANSA framework, right? After these two projects, you also look into the rear seat modeling using ANSA. Again, this is a full-fledged project where you understand and implement every aspect of meshing and connections. Right? These are the first two courses where it will provide you an understanding of pre-processing. Right? If you want to become a CAE modeler, this will kind of give you the skills and the tool set required. Right? Uh, the third course is the structural analysis using ANSYS Workbridge. Now that you have a good understanding of meshing, this third course work will kind of give you an understanding of static analysis, dynamic analysis, vibration, modal, thermal, and all the different structural analysis that are present. And you basically get accustomed to set up simulations, boundary conditions, solve, and get post-processing results out of it, right? This is what we introduce with the third coursework. Here, some of the projects that you will be working on is a fatigue analysis on an iPhone, where you kind of do the bending calculation of an iPhone uh, over a period of time. Then also you look at non-linearity contact, where you will basically take a buckle clip and understand the snap fit of that particular buckle clip, right? And these are just two projects out of some 16 projects in that ANSYS coursework I'm speaking about. The fourth coursework is crash worthiness using Hypermesh and radios. The way that we are structured is the first two courses will provide you an understanding of pre-processing, 
the third coursework will introduce you to computer aided engineering with respect to solving the fourth coursework will take it one step ahead where you understand the basics of FEA, where you understand the fundamentals of crashworthiness, the regulations aspect of it. Then you go ahead and do simulation projects on frontal car crash analysis, side impact analysis, roof crush analysis, and much more. These are projects that only people in the industry will have access to. Right? Our ability to kind of build the expertise in-house and provide you that projects is what makes us very very unique. After the fourth coursework, the coursework that you will look at is LS Dyna for FEA simulations. Again, as I said in the previous video, radios and LS Dyna are one of the most used softwares for explicit dynamics. And some of the projects that you look in the LS Dyna coursework focus on head impact analysis. What does head impact analysis mean? Well, you are driving a car and there is a pedestrian who, who's walking and you basically crash on him. What happens if the pedestrian's head impacts on your bonnet, right? That's the head impact analysis. Then you look into bird strike of an aircraft. So there's an aircraft that's flying, a bird strikes the propeller blades. What happens out there? Then you look into something very, very important, which is material modeling. If you're looking at taking your career forward uh, as a CA analyst, material modeling is something very, very important. And that's something that you will basically look at. The fourth project is basically taking raw lab data and modeling the material for that raw lab data. That's your fourth project, right? These are your five courses. The first two courses focuses on pre-processing. The third course gives you an introduction to solving. The fourth and the fifth course dives deep into solving using crashworthiness, dives deep into solving uh, explicit dynamics kind of problems, right? That is the sixth coursework. As I explained previously, you can become a CAE analyst and you can also become a CA analyst automation. From the CA model, which is the pressure position, you can either go as a CA analyst or you can also go as a CA automation uh, engineer. And that's where you need to understand what is TCL, TK for hypermission, right? This is a coursework that you will not find anywhere in, uh, this is a coursework that you will not find anywhere because not everybody knows how to use these skills. Not everybody knows how to use these skills. In this particular coursework, you will start to learn how to write macros for finding normals, for finding free edges, for finding rigid elements, and for finding symmetry among different components, right? Apart from that, you will also write a macro for overview report in order to kind of get an entire deck in an Excel. This whole six courses has around 40 assignments, 20 projects, and in addition to that, has a paid internship as well. Right? In this internship, you end up working on projects in collaboration with people who work in the industry. Right? And when, when people basically take a look at skilling, what they kind of say is the support that we provide enables every student to succeed. Why is that? Well, our support engineers work around from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. and they are pretty technically well versed. So whenever you have a question, we answer your question through Zoom videos. Through, uh, through Zoom video calls, telecall, email, chat, and whatnot. You can basically reach out to us whenever you want in order to make sure your doubt is clarified. On top of that, we have a very successful customer success team. What does a customer success team do? It is incentivized to make sure you succeed in your career and the course. So we have had multiple number of job opportunities for students who have taken up a CAE master course, and uh, we are very, very excited to see what's going to happen in the near future as well. So if you're someone who wants to become a CA engineer in the next six to eight months, this is one of the best options that you have right now. So yeah, if you need any information, please take a look at the description. We have provided the links for the coursework and uh, you can also contact us at 980-980-5252. If you have any comments about the next courses that you would want us to review, please put it in the comment box. We will be happy to review that as well. Thank you so much.